Hello, I'm Patrick McGee, sports writer for the Sun Herald. I'm Patrick Oaks, the Sports Guys, Week 12. We're here again to talk about Friday night's big games. Really, playoffs get going this week. I'll be talking about Pascagoula, Gautier, and also East Central, Forest County, AHS. I'll talk about our game of the week, which is Biloxi at Gulfport. I'll kick things off talking about St. Martin visiting Diabreville. Big rivalry game. Uh, stadiums used to be so close, the fans from one stadium could hear the other one when they scored. Uh, the, the stadiums have relocated a little bit, but uh, the, the fandom there, the rivalry is still alive. And it seems like uh, every season this one's a huge one for both teams for playoff implications. You know, Diabreville right now, they're sitting pretty on top of the region. That Really the lone team outside of George County that, that can kind of breathe a little easier. Obviously they still want to win. They want to clinch that first place seed. Uh, then you got St. Martin. They've got a win to get in. I mean, it seems like every year it comes down to this one for St. Martin. You know, last year it came down to maybe the last, what, 15 seconds, and, uh, you know, St. Martin was eliminated from the playoffs. Curious to see how this one goes. You know, we talk about it every week, it seems like St. Martin potential, talent wise, especially on offense, maybe one of the best, most talented teams in the region. They just have a problem closing out games, I think. Uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, the heartbreaker at Ocean Springs. Uh, you know, this week, I think we're going to see much of the same. You know, Diaberville, we've learned, can score with pretty much anybody. It's impressive what Eric Collins has done there. As long as they're not turning the ball over and they're not getting behind the sticks, they're not, you know, losing uh, yardage on penalties, on silly penalties, they do well. You know, I think Diaberville's going to end up ending St. Martin's season early again this year. I think maybe Diaberville pulls out a 45-40 win, something around there. I think it's still a high-scoring game. Then you got uh, Biloxi visiting Gulfport. Biloxi hasn't won in Gulfport since 1984. It's a long time. Uh, you know, Gulfport has pretty much owned this rivalry here the last couple years. Uh, both coaches say this year won't be like last year as far as the, the teams on the field. Biloxi's much improved. I think we've talked about it quite a bit the last couple weeks. And Gulfport, you know, last, last regular season game of the year, they're still trying to find themselves specifically in offense. They've been struggling to run the football, which I thought was something they'd be pretty good at this year. Uh, but then, you know, interestingly enough, both teams, best defenses, uh, scoring defenses in the region, they're one and two. Uh, you know, I think this one's going to be a low scoring one. I think it's going to be maybe 24 21. I still think Gulfport, with that streak, it's hard to get past that streak. I think Gulfport still pulls it out. But I will say, Bluxy's played uh, much better with Brody King at quarterback. I think as long as he takes care of the football, it'll be a close one there. Yeah, uh, East Central hosting a big playoff game against Forest County AHS. I think East Central is pretty a heavy favorite on its home field in this game, but yeah. really no game can be taken, taken for granted, especially East Central. It's just a matter of holding on to the ball uh, to pick up this ball game. Uh, Tony Brown uh, hadn't been quite putting up the video game numbers like he has early in the season, averaging no. only 250 yards only. Game here recently. <laughs> Poor kid, uh, still only. one of the uh, nation's <laughs> leading rushers. Uh, it's really just a matter of East Central really coming out and playing well in the first round and getting mm -hmm. momentum going into the postseason. Because we all know East Central can can play with and beat anybody in 4 is just in there mm -hmm. playing clean football because they're going to score points. Uh, but they should beat Forest County pretty handily. Forest County is a balanced offense. Uh, don't really do anything spectacular on either side of the ball. They kind of mm -hmm. just kind of got in uh, with as a three seed. Uh, so I see East Central handling that game fairly easily. Uh, Pascagoula Gaucher, should be a fun really one. big game. Uh, <laughs> for Gaucher, they've been pretty consistent about getting in the playoffs, but Pascagoula's had their number. They haven't beaten the Panthers mm -hmm. since 2009. Uh, Pascagoula had a rough outing last week at Picayune, offensively especially. Mm. They played pretty good defense. Picayune won that game 14 to zip. Uh, Pascagoula got into the uh, uh, Picayune, inside the Picayune 10 uh, twice and couldn't get into the end zone. It was a really frustrating game on offense for them. So, you know, much of this week for Pascagoula is going to be finding a way to get that offense going. And Gaucher can score points. It's been mm. a little up and down on the offensive side of the ball, but Gaucher's had some really nice outbursts. And they did that again last week against uh, West Harrison, put some pretty good points on the board. And DeAndre Torrey, the tailback for Gaucher, is really the key to it all. Of course, there's two big offensive tackles for Gaucher, uh, Paul Gaynor and also Justin Scott. All, both have D1 offers. Gaynor is a Mississippi State commit. Mm. Uh, so it, if, if Gaucher ha holds on to the ball, they can beat Gula. But Gula just seems to have a little bit of that mental edge you talked about. Same mm -hmm. thing with Gulfport mm -hmm. over Biloxi. Pascal yeah. Gula just has that little bit of a... Uh, I'm, I'm sure Gaucher would take offense to it, but Pascagoula has kind of the big bro brother vibe to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I see Pascagoula just eking this one out. I think it's going to be a really good football game. It's at Gaucher. I see Pascagoula just finding a way and getting into the postseason.
we appreciate you watching again this week, and uh, we'll see you at the games Friday night. Be sure to download the Sun Herald app to keep up with all the scores. Thanks.